Walking Through the Woodland. So this song is an adaptation of another song which I sometimes use in class and that is called uh, Walking in the Green Grass. And I'm just going to sing you a verse of that. It goes, Walking in the green grass, green grass, green grass, walking in the green grass so early in the morning. So that's just one verse of that song. And <clears throat> I usually use this um, with the children and we will walk to the steady beat. So again, it's one of those songs where we're using locomotor movements to establish this sense of steady beat. So for the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, I've adapted the song slightly to walking through the woodland. So we would sing and walk. Walking through the woodland, 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 walking through the woodland so early in the morning. And you can try some different locomotor movements for this. Um, if you want to stay sat down, obviously you can do some things sitting down. But obviously for this story, we want to get an idea that we're actually going somewhere. So we can ask the children for suggestions. Once you've done the walking a few times, I might say, I'm not really, um, I'm a bit fed up with walking. How else could we move? Um, just to say here, there are obviously some safety considerations and I find it really good to set some boundaries with the children first, where they can and can't go, and also to do with them and their um, the way they co make contact with other children in the room. So you'll find with <clears throat> early years, I find the children all want to gravitate together and um, just bother each other, basically. But this idea that we're going to actually do this without bumping into anybody else without worrying anyone else and I'd probably spend quite some time if they haven't done this activity before I'd probably spend quite some time with just the walking and re-establishing those boundaries for them so if we can't do it then we'll have to sit down and walk our hands on our knees so that's another way of taking part so um, we can change then the locomotor movement to marching um, jumping skipping sliding, crawling, whatever you'd like to explore, and also what other movements the children come up with. So let's just try a few of those from the beginning. Here we go, walking in the green grass, green grass woodland. Walking in the woodland, woodland, woodland. Walking in the woodland so early in the morning. What else could we do? Jumping in the woodland, woodland, woodland. Jumping in the woodland so early in the morning. Anybody got another idea? <clears throat> Sliding in the woodland, woodland, woodland. Sliding in the woodland so early in the morning. Tiptoe in the woodland, woodland, woodland. Tiptoe in the woodland so early in the morning. Stomping in the woodland, woodland, woodland. Stomping in the woodland so early in the morning. Now, if I've got a class and um, they're not really suggesting many different alternatives to my song, I'd probably use this song over a couple of sessions or um, come into it from the other one, Walking in the Green Grass, any um, movement song, in fact, where you have been exploring some locomotor movements with them. And in the beginning stages, you might want to be the one that is suggesting those movements to them. So you can ask them, and if you're getting the same things back all the time, say, I know, let's slide. Can you slide with your feet? Or, I know, let's get down and crawl. Can you crawl with your whole body? Or roll with your body? Anything that you think um, that they have not experienced. And this is a really nice link with PE here. So um, you could um, do parts of this story in your PE lesson, um, and get them moving different ways 
to um, the song and incorporating those um, movements in your um, song, which is really about them writing new verses to the song. So we're going to take this song on a bit now. <clears throat> and another thing that I like to do with this song while we're seated and um, more for a storytelling point of view is to change the words up to um, what can you see at the end. So we're going to sing walking in the woodland, 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 walking through the woodland, what can you see? And this is going to tie in to the next part of our lesson. So I'm then going to ask the children, what can they see in the woodland? And I'm going to make a note of that, maybe on the board or on a flip chart or something. So we're just going to come up with some suggestions, suggestions like, I don't know, they might say some birds. <clears throat> I can see some birds here, birds here, birds here. I can see some birds here so early in the morning. I'm really just making these words up as I go along. But after I've done that verse about the birds, I might want to suggest to the children what they what that sounds like. So we can have a bit of vocal play then with um, tweeting. Tweet, 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 tweet. Or whistling like a bird. You get the idea. So then we go on. Walking through the woodland, 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 walking through the woodland, what can you see? And we'll take another suggestion. I can see a tall tree waving in the breeze. Oh, what would that be like with our bodies? Can we make our arms like tall trees while we, can, while we sing? <clears throat> I can see a tall tree, tall tree, tall tree i can see a tall tree so early in the morning and some vocal play which you can do before or afterwards <whistles> making some windy tree sounds so you get the idea there um just a point about what the children might come up with Sometimes when I'm working with early years, I find that their suggestions aren't too relevant to the story. And that's perfectly okay. So I, you know, if a child said to me, I can see an elephant in the woods, I would go, oh, wow, an elephant in the woods. Imagine that. Imagine seeing an elephant in the woods. What do you think the elephant's doing? The elephant's stomping. And I would carry on and sing the song. And at no point, really, would I say... Well, you know, you're not going to see an elephant in the woods because this is all about inspiring creativity and storytelling. So we want their little minds going, you know, 10 to the dozen. And it doesn't matter if this is factually right, because it's all about creativity. Um, the other thing that I find when working with early years is somebody will suggest something and then everybody else will suggest that same thing. Um, and... In some ways, I think, uh, to begin with, this is good because it. what's happening there is the children are finding a voice. I haven't yet found an individual voice, but at least that they have been willing to suggest an idea. Depending on time, I would probably say, well, we've had that idea. We've sang that idea. Can anyone think of a new idea? <clears throat> um, so um, that's a, another way to engage in that song. And for this part of the um, story um, in traditional tales I'm going to use that idea later on so it's really good to start with that at the beginning of the lesson thanks for watching <laughs>